Can you guys hear me? Hello, 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 boys and girls, boys and girls. Let me see here. Uh, uh, how do I even? What the fuck is all this shit? How do I check the text chat here? What is this? Uh, I see tons of people in here, but how do I see the text? Share screen, mute. Screen, video, screen. What is this, man? I don't get it. Why is this all? How do you type or can't you type? Can you guys type or not? Um, 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 um. I want to see you guys say something. You just have to scroll up and the... click on the general text channel. You have to click the text channels, bro. The text channels. Where is the text channel? Let me go down. I'm trying to find it. I'm a little bit... Uh... Fucking hell. Ah, general, I found it. Oh, yeah, okay. You guys in general chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. I'm Boomer. Boomer. Mr. Boomer. Yeah, guys, yo. Sims, virgins, and incels, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you guys doing? Virgins, rise, rise. You know, uh, I want to say, guys, guys, uh, I lost my virginity tonight, and then I was like, fuck, I can't say that. Can't say, <laughs> can't say. Can I even say? Am I a virgin? Like, let's say no one comes inside my stream room and says, like, you virgin, do I get banned? Either way, it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing? This is so nice to be able to speak out loud and not even fucking care. Intent matters. Intent matters. Yes, yes. What if he comes with a dildo and says, you're a virgin, I'm going to fuck you in the ass? Oh, what about that? Would that be fine? That's fine. I see. So it's only when an insult. Come here, you fucking slutty virgin. Well, that doesn't make so much sense, but hey, whatever. Either way, uh, some sucker sold uh, twenty thousand purpose, and you know the good news is. We got it for two dollars. <laughs> like, I don't understand it. I mean, okay, you sell a little bit if you really need to pay for your bills, but selling everything, like, holy shit, this guy's gonna have a breakdown when shit's gonna hit the fan. I think so. Maybe it's because Ethereum is was going up or something, and he wanted to write that. I don't fucking know, man. That's just insane. But yeah, even if Bitcoin is going up, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, why would you sell when Ethereum is already all-time high? That's fucking cray-cray. Man, that's insane, insane. Well, I'm really happy. It's good, it's good. So much purpose, man. That was just crazy. By the way, you will also be able to just, in the game, right? When you when you use when you go into the building, you will be able to do basically just scan QR codes on G4G to get your uh, to to buy buy immediately without a wallet. Like the thing is, since that since game since Clash of Streamers is a wallet itself, you can use it the scan QR code to basically do purchases from within the game. Isn't that crazy? And it's completely legit. So. It's, yeah, it's, it's really nice. Just letting you guys know about that one. 
But man, for real, guys, seriously, even though I don't really, I mean, I'm good, eh? just for your own sake. No, you don't need a PC. Just your phone. You can, you can use gaming for good, right? You browse gaming for good. You want to buy something on your phone. You tap it. It redirects you to the game and you buy through the game. You don't need a wallet, nothing. You don't need MetaMask, nothing. You just need Ether or, you, well, you only need Purpose and, and, and Doobie on your Ether address from the game. Isn't that fucking sick? The, the game itself will function as a wallet. Because we were thinking of doing MetaMask integration, all that shit. We said, like, we can just use our own fucking functionality. It's a big deal, by the way. It's quite nice. Yeah. What do you guys think about the game so far, by the way? The game is not too bad. The game is quite a bit buggy, but you guys got really, really very, very early, early version now. I like how Emil says, crash on my phone. Emil, didn't you say that the game was garbage? How can you know the game is garbage when it's crashing on your phone? You didn't even get to play it. Great, but tutorial is confusing. Emil's 999 and Emil, are you the same person? Ah, I see. We're actually going to do something uh different at the start of the game you guys want to know what i'm gonna do i got like 200 000 krypton and forgot my wallet pass uh, password no the krypton you will keep even if you change your wallet but your actual wallet also has test duby and purpose by the way kimek so you need your wallet for access to that, but your Krypton won't go away. I don't know what the problem is with Bluestacks. Did you allow VSync or whatever? There's, there's Delani, are you using a Windows Server machine? You need Bluestacks 32 bits. Because Bluestacks 64 doesn't work. I got 400k Krypton, did some shit, and now I have 2 million Krypton. What did you do, monkey? What the fuck? How does that make any sense? What did you do? Packs and shit. I mean, did you buy on gaming for good? I see. What are you going to do instead of the tutorial? The tutorial will still be the same, but we will add something. Um, maybe I can show you guys. Actually, I can show you guys. I will show you guys something really. This is very, very early. Yeah? It still has to be polished, obviously. But I'm I'm just showing you guys, because you know you guys get a little sneak peek here. Let me see here very fast. Yeah. So basically, I'll give you guys a link here. Huh? Copy. Copy. I'm gonna go to general on Discord here. Let's go, boys. A team life general here we go this is just you know you guys see it here so basically it's just a, a mock-up uh, so you guys get to see what we're gonna do uh. but the the main issue right is 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 keeping people for the first few minutes it's going to be three minutes by the way um and the, the way it's going to be is like you play for three minutes and and after three minutes the bomb explodes and um you get some swag 
and you get to choose whether you want to skip or keep playing. That's the ID. Yeah, it says spice. It's just it's just tutorial. It's just it's it's very early on. It's gonna look better than everything. I'm just showing you guys very early stage. This is gonna be there this Sunday. Well, next Sunday. So it's just like you you see it and and you really want to know what is going to happen after these three minutes. Yeah. What's the point of the after party? Uncensored. Uncensored. I can say you're an incel, you're a virgin, you're a simp. Simp. Um, I didn't get test dubian purpose. It should be on your address normally. Yeah. Are you guys looking forward to the game, by the way? Because it's getting really close. Release January, early February. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so, yeah. I hope so. Do you guys like the exporting to the blockchain? The thing that makes me mostly confused about the game is the pets. They're much better explained now. You see the buffs and everything everywhere all the time. No. Yeah, the game is going to be really... But don't you get them immediately, Pokego Real? Even though it says spending, you get them immediately, right? You can play with them already because normally they pend for 30 days unless you use G4G Krypton. But yeah, no, you use G4G Krypton. Yeah. We are testing stuff. It's nice. We're testing stuff. How do I change the pets on my building? The pets on your building are the pet guardians. You just go to... Uh... To, your, to your guardians and you can swap them around. If you want to change the cost... It's in the achievements, yes. Because you can... Like the, the ones you see on the, the main menu is just for uh, arti like uh, just for artistic purposes. But if you want to change the abilities, you do that in your in achievements. What was what was the, the current riddle? I see. I didn't make that riddle. You, you can change the artistic pets by tap and holding the pet. What is the teen's birthday? Hmm. Is progress saved if we play up till now, up to launch? Next Sunday, we will do a big patch. Right now, we're sending out swag to people so they can test the G4G shop. They can test, you know. Did people that spend money get vouchers or not? Godly hand, you got to wait until the, game, until, until the game is really out. He didn't like it, your dad? You gotta show him blackjack. Ah, you got some vouchers? Oh yeah, that's nice.
Any news for purpose and doobie? <laughs> Just get yourself as much as you can, man. Well, purpose, that is. That's my tip for free. And yeah. I'm surprised though, like this is the time, right? That people should be the most, you know. But yeah, it's just a silent storm. Eh? You should be the most pumped now. I mean, the game is fucking crazy. Like everything I said was going to be in the game is in the game. It's insane. Like, yeah, I don't know if people realize how fucking crazy it is. <laughs> yeah, people think it's going to be another cyberpunk. It's not going to be another cyberpunk, though. It's going to be really polished and everything. I've lost all the hype over the years, but it's going to come out though. The game is going to come out and I know it, you know, people will be like, oh yeah, like, but it's going to be there. You get vouchers. You should get vouchers from what you spend, but I'm not sure. Did you get vouchers, Malako? In the game. Did you get, did you connect, did you connect the same account? Oh yeah. I'm going to make a note for that. That's really good that you told me that. Because we're testing all these things, huh? Morshko, how much purpose did you have? Man, this 16 purpose, you're going to cry in a few years. You're going to say like, I have somewhere a wallet with 16 purpose. And people will be like, what? Are you crazy? Yeah. But it was only 16 purpose. <laughs> you know what I would do, Moshko? I would just get myself 50 purpose now. So then afterwards, you go like, man, if it wasn't for me losing 16, I wouldn't have gotten myself 50. And now this 50 is so much. Man, I'm already starting to milk. But no, seriously. No, I'm not trying to milk you, <laughs> but man. I don't want you to cry, though. Astreus says, the game will come out one day, but your statements are all the time. It's always soon, and the game looks done since quite some time already, so most of us are less hyped. But you try that, tried it out, right? It's a lot further now. Right now, we're just finishing the bugs and launch. That's how soon we are. We fix the bugs and we launch. Can we buy merch for the game? The way we're going to handle merch is with loot cards. You're going to be able to have loot card drops that give out merch. And you will, they will drop for free. And maybe we'll have events as well with other games and stuff. So like, yeah, then you get the, the card in the game and then you can go claim the merch on the website. Yeah, the, but the tutorial, a lot of the tutorial, by the way, Kimek, is just, man, it was a clusterfuck. Yeah. I played a few chapters of the tutorial and then it kept freezing and crashing. Hmm.
Why is there no information in game that people get better value if they buy packs? We're not allowed to do that. The pacing will be slower, right? If you want slow pacing, you got to play slow. <laughs> if you play fast, it goes fast. If you play slow, then it goes slow. I don't know, man, Surgeons, Skywalk, a lot of issues because we did a lot of stuff to keep you guys progress, right? There was never slow mode or fast mode in the battle. It was always just f fast. Will the game be playable on iOS 12.5? Test flight requires iOS 13. Yes, of course. Rick, of course. That's also good that you tell me this, Rick. Test flight is only 12 point, uh, only 13. You sure about that? Maybe you should Google and see if, if you can. So why aren't you upgrading to 13? Ah, how old is your phone? Five S, you can't play the game on a fucking five S, bro. <laughs> Feels bad, man. You can play it on Blue Stacks, though. Will you make DBX iOS compatible before launch? The G4G shop. Ah, yeah, actually, but the thing is, like. Through MetaMask, you mean? Because MetaMask on 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 Android and on iOS is completely buggy as fuck. We will just have it integrate with our own wallet. That's what we're gonna do. Because, like the, the the productivity app will have its own wallet and then you can literally just use the productivity app to do everything you want because it will have a yeah yeah people will be able to get purpose but they need ether then huh, on their address they need ether or it's not gonna work iPhone SE can play the game easy. Can we use Ledger Wallet with the game? Uh, yes, it will work. The Bluetooth one. Do you have Bluetooth uh, Ledger Wallet? Yeah, it will probably work, yes. That's actually something we discussed two days ago. If we should make it allow people to get, use... Uh, their uh, their uh, ledger and it will work. Yeah, game for good is still right now. They're testing and I mean, yeah. When will the new functionality of the latest fork be implemented? Oh, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. Honestly, once we launch, right? There's a lot of uh, like it's gonna take a while. I think it's gonna take half a year. Half a year. I mean, after launch, I really think it's going to take three months before people start working on the productivity app and another three months before, you know, people really get to work on, 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 on other stuff. I uh, things are going slower than I, than I expected. Man, you guys get to play the game, right? Do you know how much we put on post launch? You have no idea. The amount of shit we skipped for launch, it's ridiculous. DBX will not be able to work on iOS because MetaMask doesn't even work. Doku will be released at the same date as the game, yes. Yeah. Didn't you say months ago that people are already working on other stuff? Like, uh, 
there is several people that are working on other stuff. Like Nolan is working on the productivity app and Vivi is working on a post launch already as well. But yeah, right now people are still all uh, stacked with work. Yeah, but not that much longer though. Yeah. You know what slowed down the launch by weeks? You want to know what slowed down the, the, the launch by, by three weeks? Want to have a good laugh? The beta. <laughs> Found my wallet password. That's that's nice. The beta brought more than two thousand bugs, which is good, huh? and they're all already fixed. And even to this day, we are still getting seven bugs a day, seven bugs around five to seven bugs. Initially, it was 200, 300 bugs a day, and then it went down, hundred fifty, hundred fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Now it's only five to seven. And they will all be fixed in the build of Sunday. I know people still play the game. People are still playing. No, no, people are still playing. I mean, iPhone SE from 2016. I think it should be good enough. It's better than an iPhone 6, right? Grunt? I think it is. Is he saying that 6, then it won't work. How many weeks the game is pushed now? Man. After Cyberpunk, I just don't want to launch with a bugged game, that's all. Because we could have squeezed it, you know? We could have squeezed, we could have launched, by the way. We could have launched. But man, people would have had bugs and yeah. Do people in your place come up with new project ideas or is it mainly you? But there's not so much. There's not so much resources to, to work on different projects at this point. Once the game is out and we have billions, then it's a different story. But people come up with ideas left and right to improve shit. You still think about leveling the buy and sell wall up to 50 levels? Maybe, we'll see. Poke go real. I'm 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 not even telling people to get purpose at this point. It's just like uh, I, I'm just baffled that I, I'm just baffled that the best moment. But yeah, it doesn't matter. People should just be uh man, people should fucking hoarding that shit like crazy. Man, shit is gonna hit the fan. Shit is gonna hit the fan like crazy. But yeah. Either way, uh, I'm gonna go eat. Half hour off the party. Nice talking to you guys. Get yourself some sweet ass purpose while you don't even have to. I don't really care. Uh, uh, well, everybody here has already tried out the beta, right? And pre registered. It's mainly the core people anyway here. Applying, maybe. Anyone here thinking about coming over? Dioza, I'm gonna have to hurry up. You're from Belgium, right? How do you apply here, man? Put a little bit of effort there in, in your applications, man. There's people that have been applying, man. Sometimes I want to read the applications on the stream. It's really like they think they're fucking applying for some, I don't know, some fucking meme 
forum or something. It's just crazy. Like, like really, yeah. It's unbelievable. I, I just think they're trolls. Yeah. There was some crazy... Yeah, that guy at the Bob, right? He has like, I don't know how many accounts. That guy, man, fucking hell. Team played FK Arena for three hours. Man, FK Arena is running 24-7 on my PC. It's even on right now. I just run scripts 24-7. Don't really play it though. My scripts are playing the game. Just clicking around here now. I'm, I'm infiltrating it like crazy. Man, oh, man, oh, man, you guys have no clue, man. I'm in contact with all the top fucking content creators and everything, man. They don't see it coming. I'm going to fucking get them real good. Nicely active on the Reddit and, you know. The thing is with Clash of Streamers, you don't really need scripts. Yeah, man, this, this, this hater spamming shit. But I don't mind too much. I, I like when it happens, I just go like whatever. It's just it's just sometimes it's just over like sometimes I'm just a bit concerned <laughs> for them. But it's nice publicity. For real. It really is nice. But yeah, it's sometimes I really want to tell them like, man, don't take life so serious. After so long, after so long, after years, after years, years, man, and still hating like that. It's like, I'm not even streaming. Come on, take a chill pill. My MetaMask says I have $5 in Ether without buying Ether. Is that the test net? By the way, I feel like th this a teen's birthday. I don't even know. Ah. So Ramashwano, you figured it out? Ah, so it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he always answers these fucking riddles. I see. Man, there is some really hard ones, though, riddles. It's going to be nice to see who, who answers them first. There is some really cool riddles. Like, the first one was cool. I liked the first one. Do you know the first riddle, right, why it's there? Like, because I thought the first one was very easy. But it's basically, like... It has to explain in every single language that only the first one can be answered in another language. Because obviously the riddle is translated in all the languages. I mean, it's so obvious, but yeah, I guess when I say it, it's easy, but yeah. Man, if you guys think this one was hard, wait a minute. Well, if you change the languages and you see what is common, you immediately have the answer. But yeah. Imotaru, who are you, by the way? Are you someone in here? Ah, Brian, I see.
those riddles are breaking the fourth wall man there is some crazy riddles by the way there is some insane riddles like that are really hard even for me the ones that you, that i've dropped so are, are are easy i would have figured them out in like 10 minutes or something but man some are going to become a lot harder The thing is like, Kimik, the first person to answer the riddle, everybody will know who it is. Because when you post the answer on, a, on a Clash of Streamers forum, right, it will always show the first person who solved it. So that's some crazy e -peen, right? I mean, yeah. Nobody has unlocked the black market. You guys haven't found that one out. And it's in the game now. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't have told you guys this. The black market is a secret building. No one has unlocked it, no, no one. But I think even once the game is out, uh, it will take a week or two before the first one unlocks it and then everyone will have it, obviously. No, I don't think Ramajwana will find it. He has to be quite, yeah. No, it's really like, yeah, it's going to be hard. There's a lot of RNG to it as well, well, RNG. Give us a clue how to unlock it. I'll give you guys a clue, uh, uh, maybe on launch. It is in the beta, yes. I think it is in the beta. I'm quite sure it is in the beta. The black market gives the best subscriptions in the game. And there is also a merchant, a mega merchant in the black market. Why am I telling you guys this? Shouldn't tell you guys this shit. It's like you have basically daily, like the marketplace, you then have the merchant with two deals daily and one weekly. And the black market has subscriptions with the craziest deals and also one monthly. One monthly insane deal where you have to basically... You have to hoard so much currency, but you get so much back. It's fucking crazy. Uh, yeah, there you go, guys. You heard it here first. It's really nice. I, I, I like the, this market system where you trade tokens for more tokens. I like it a lot. It's really cool. Did you know if, that if you have the tokens, right? <laughs> There's actually an Easter egg with the crabs. But yeah, either way. Uh, <laughs> but either way, I shouldn't give all these fucking. Uh, I shouldn't give all these uh, these fucking clues. But um, I don't, I don't even know what I wanted to say. What was I talking about? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you have the currency for a deal in the merchant, right, and it expires, and you forgot to claim it it actually gets sent through a mail so you never miss out we do so much stuff in the game that people are not aware of to make sure that people that are lazy or don't think everything gets done automatically your presents get collected your dailies get collected so much shit gets done for you on the back and it's so much work to do it all for it yeah the catch-up mechanics are insane every day you don't log in you get 10 million fucking catch-up luck. Do you know how crazy that is? The city, 10 million gems. Oh, you get 10,000 catch-up luck. Or how much do you get? 10K or 10 mil? Don't even know. 
Uh, do you like the, the weekly sale points event? It's fucking insane. Yes, it is. Fun. Do you like the sale points? Is fucking a cool system, right? It's so fucking insane. But yeah, it's Christmas. You guys are getting the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas, you guys get the sale point rush, right? Is it called the sale point rush? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, this, this, this sale point system, everybody will copy it. It's so genius. It's going to make us so much money. Shouldn't you punish inactivity players so they attempt to keep playing instead of rewarding them with catch up? You get around 75% catch up. 75%. Yeah. So, like, you might say, like, oh, yeah, but that's not fair. But the thing is, we have to do it like that. Because else, after a year, you can never, you know, you can never catch up. Now, after a year, when you join, and the way you catch up, it's not instant. Eh? You can only catch up by playing. The way it works is catch up luck increases the drop chance of stuff. And then when something better drops, the difference gets removed from your catch up uh, bank, basically. But you can only spend so much of your catch up luck a day. So if you join the game after a year, you will need to play a year to catch up with a player that started in the start. Well, catch up 75%. It's cool. I mean, like, so if you are playing from the start, you still get a little bit of a, you, 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 you get a, a head start, obviously, uh, compared to someone that comes later, but you don't get punished like crazy. Even if you skip a day, you don't get punished like crazy. Like 25%, even 20%. You know, 20%, it's not too bad. You know, it's like, okay, whatever. I would say it's more like 20%. Because the catch-up allows you to complete more events because you get more loot. So I would say it's more like 20%. But yeah, like 20%. So if you come after a year, you can basically catch up. After a year, 80% is really nice. What do I do with Krypton? You can export to the blockchain with Krypton. You can export your heroes. Some games have a system where you log in consecutively day after day. It rewards you. Yes, but the problem with that is you skip a day and now you don't feel like playing anymore. So now, like in, in our game, because we were thinking that you can, like a consecutive win streak, right? We were thinking about it. And if you skip a day, you have a boost that you can buy to undo the day that you skipped. But I were like, this is too sell out. We can't do that. We were really thinking like you can do a streak. And if you miss your streak, you can, you can basically pay to, but yeah. But we have bug report. We have bug report. It's in the settings. We actually have. <laughs> but people that, that play in the closed beta, they know about it, right? Because, it, like, yeah, it's just ugly to have a button there all the time. But the thing is, Surgeon Skywalk, you don't he have to report the bug. We get it automatically. We have scripts running on your phone that tell us whenever there is an error. It shows, sends us everything. That's why the build now is so much, you know, it's so much better. Of course, if you guys give some feedback, it's better because not everything is an error, but we are getting so much errors. Yeah. And also what we will get this Sunday, we will also get to see the gameplay. I will be able to see everyone how they play. 
we will have recordings of all the plays. Yeah, everything. It's going to be nice. Of course, if you type to people, friends, we won't see that because that gets filtered because we have a system for that that blurs out all the private information. Can we get a beta achievement? Now nah, that's too it feels bad, man. We don't have beta. There might be a beta loot card though. Screen goes black and I have to restart my phone sometimes. That will get fixed. It's normal, Emil. It's a it's a bug. We are we are aware of it. It will get fixed. But yeah, either way, get yourself that sweet ass purpose. Uh Yeah, you get 30% more stuff in beta, it's true. If you buy stuff in the beta, you will get 30% on launch. Extra. Next Sunday patch, how many cards? A few hundred or something, maybe 500. It's unfair, iOS cannot buy now. You can install it on BlueStacks. Connect. You can do it with blue stacks. I know it's a bit unfair, but you can get blue stacks. We're not allowed to enable purchases on iOS, else we would have already done it. People that donated in 2018, yeah, everything is 30% increased, plus sale points on top of that. Well, you will just get vouchers. You get vouchers. Yeah. You will get vouchers. Everyone would get just get vouchers. Because normally it was double VIP, but now with all the sale points, $100 is worth so much more now with, with sale points and stuff. So everybody, if you, if you donated $1,000, you will get $1,300 worth of vouchers. When you spend $1,300 on vouchers, you will get the sale points to spend another $1,000. It's really like, it snowballs, you know? So now the VIP you would get, the VIP you would have gotten a few years back, for a thousand dollars, now you get triple of that or something like that. No, you 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 get the rewards in vouchers. You will get vouchers, and you can buy stuff in the game with it. You will be able to buy the deals in the game, which is much better. It's much better to get it like that than to 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 get gems or Krypton or whatever. It's yeah, you will get the vouchers for the money you spend plus 30% on top. So if you spend 500, you will get, you know, you can choose whatever you want, yes. You can buy with the vouchers whatever you want in the game. Because we thought if we sent the gems, it's not fair because there is deals that are so much valuable that they're better off spending the money now than back in the days. But if we give vouchers, then people can just buy these good deals. And that's more fair. There is, by the way, insane deals. Huh? I don't know if, did you guys unlock the Madness deal? I don't even think you guys did. Man, there is deals. Every level, you get one Madness chip and one sale point. Every level. Krypton is the currency in the game. It's going to be difficult not to spend the vouchers on accident. You get a prompt. You get a prompt. You do get a prompt now, right? Yes, you should get a prompt. You get a prompt when you tap it. Are you sure or something or whatever? Or yeah. Man, our game is really well, well done. It's really so well done. On shitty deals, you mean? Ah. Um. It's actually hard. It's hard because the way it works is like the voucher of a hundred bucks only works for hundred dollar deals. It's going to be hard. You can only spend a hundred dollar voucher on a hundred dollar deal. You can't spend a hundred dollar voucher on two fifty dollar deals. So you will only, you know, like you will only get hundred dollar. Yeah, that would just be unfair. Will we also get vouchers for the purpose? Yes. Plus 30%. But the G4G shop right now is testnet. It's not real. The moment it's real, yeah, it's going to be, you will get 30% extra. Yes. 
man, the game is going to be sick. It's going to be sick, man. People are going to be streaming. They're going to be, it's going to fucking be insane. But people are not aware of it. I'm just, everyone just doesn't give a shit, right? And it's like, whatever, whatever. But when the game is out, the only thing we can do is fuck up the launch. That's it. If the game is buggy, if we do a cyberpunk, we're fucked. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to do a cyberpunk. No fucking way. But yeah, the thing is, like, really, people are just, man, I want the game to launch in January. And it's looking good. It's looking really good. But the thing is, like I say, I'm not launching with a bug product. No, 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 no. No way, April. No way. Like, no fucking way. I mean, yeah, people have to die. But I can tell you guys now it's going to happen as a surprise. Huh? We're, I'm literally going to have one stream and say, guys, we're launching. Huh? And you'd be like, wait, 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 wait. Let me get some purpose. Too late, motherfucker. Huh? Too late, motherfucker. Huh? <laughs> so... Uh, Get yourself some sweet ass purpose. Get yourself stacked, you know. You heard it here first. No, I'm not planning. Like, like what we're gonna do with what we're gonna do with purpose. It's just it's just gonna go to the moon. That's all. Actually, Mars probably. But the thing is, do you know why I don't talk about purpose? Do you guys know why I don't talk about purpose? Do you, do, do you know why I don't go to the after party and chill purpose? Because I want people to sell. It's free purpose. It's like, man, some fuckers sold 40K purpose for $2 each. I mean, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> that's fucking amazing. A guy literally burned millions. He burned millions. It's just good, good. I like it. Well, you feel bad for the poor soul. It is what it is, you know. It's so crazy, man. It's so crazy. Well, it's good for us. Either way, I'm off. I'm going to eat something. People that want to come over, here's the link. People that want to try out the game, here's the link. People that want to pre-register, here's the link. And people that want to check out DubiX, I don't know. What's the link for that? There's also a link for DubiX, right? Yeah, you guys can figure it out. Keep it up, guys. See you guys uh, next time, but probably Sunday. Probably Sunday. Peace out. Next Sunday, probably.